Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am reviewing the Polycolor Coinor Hard Month uh, <laughs> Artist Quality, quality Colour Pencils. Um, they come in this nice crafty tin. Um, on the back it just says drawing illustration, colouring, silky stroke, light, fast, high pigmentation and blendable. Um, and you get a little code um, of what pencils there is inside which is 72 pencils in this set um, so I'll go ahead and show you so it comes off and it's just a tin lid um, and you get a little it's to be honest it does come off underneath so you can get you know so it does that just help, it's just a way of helping you getting it out of the the case like so so yeah really nice pencils i have swatched these already um as you can see i've put them all in the um the right way up so you can see what so i can see what numbers are i haven't rearranged them for different num for the number you know in order um, because I've done that with my Faber Castle Polys and they're all, now all the colours are everywhere. Why do they do that? <laughs> like, you've got one here, 41, 3, 5, 6. So they're all going to be like all different. It's going to be like a rainbow effect, but you're going to have like white, yellow, blue, pink, re uh, green, red. And it's just going to be multicoloured instead of like, like it is. So I'm leaving it as it is but the really nice uh colored pencils um the hexagon shaped like so really like the gold tint at the end for some reason <laughs> i'm a really picky person sometimes um they are uh just numbered and they've got the name the the one thing that's cheese balled me is they've put the the name of the pencil at the bottom instead of at the top and it's not on the bit where there's the got the lettering or anything it's to, you've got to turn it round so that's what it looks like um i don't know if you can see but on this side you've got your gold lettering with the numbers and then you've got to turn the pencils round to see the names at this side and they're not uh, engraved into the pencil itself. They're just printed on. So once you've started to cut it, to like sharpen them to this point, that's it, you've done. I mean, I know you've got your, your numbers here and if you've swatched it and wrote it down, then you'll not have a problem. But I like to have the, the name of the colored pencil at the top. So that's uh, one of my letdowns for the pencils itself, but that being said, I do like these pencils very much. The more firmer, harder cord pencils, a bit like your Faber Castles. Um, the quality of the pencil for holding them is really good, you know, because of the hexagon shape on it. Um, if you like, I know a lot of people like the uh, Brooke Funer's square pencils, so. Um, and I'm sure we've all coloured with these hexagon shaped pencils at school at some point or another. Um, but I do tend to like hexagon shaped or circle ones more than I do anything else. I know that I've got the Brooke Fiona square ones for Christmas as well, uh, which I've, I've swatched as well. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I still say that my, fav my favourite Castle Polys are my, my favourite ones. Um, so, but yeah, as I say, the pencils themselves are absolutely beautiful. So that's one set there, and then that's the other set. See if I can pull it up a little bit more, so you can see them. I've got. There we go. So you can you get a, a good look at what's available. Um, I don't think there's many... There's not many range of colours, but they are nice. Let me see if I can... A swatch book. 
So these are the, the pencils I've swatched. As you can see, they are vibrant. I mean, these are the uh, the ones I've just shown you for the fit, not that one. They are Tex. Um, and you can see the difference in brightness. Especially with the yellows. I mean, there's not there's not many yellows in the set anyway, but you get the the idea. Still, still fair enough, you know, bright. I like how there's different shades though. I like to have a very um, wide range of, you know, different shades of different of the same color. But still. That's the swatch list. Um, I've, I do have, let me just pop this back in here. I do have my uh, thing here, so I'll bring it down. So I'll get one of the pencils, which shall I get? I'll get a purple. So we're using the um, reddish violet. Um, I'll bring you a little bit closer, I if it'll seconds need to move it over here there we go so yeah we've got the uh, reddish violet so if I that's pressing on really hard as you can see a little blotchy um, not as I mean, that's a little blotchy, but I think it might be just my paper as well. I suppose what to, it depends on what paper you're using. This is just standard for a uh, copy, copy paper. Not the best pencils that I own, but I like to have a nice range of different pencils to try. But yeah. Um, not too bad. Um, I'd say that the pencil core itself is pretty firm. Um, the more on the drier side, if you look, I don't know if you can see, that's the pencil lead. So it's, re it's a really dry pencil, if you get what I mean. It's not oily or waxy. Um, I don't know if it tells you on. Hmm. They're not oily or waxy. Let's see if I can find. And these are currently £51.5 on Amazon where the they got bought from so it just says um on here that it's a pack of 72 assorted pencils presented in high quality tin coin or is one of the world leaders in the production and distribution of first rate stationery for artist schools and offices using 100 percent fc FSC wood. Um, but I don't know. Usually it's so like waxy or oily, but it's it's neither. Um, and I can't I can't figure out where it says, but it just it, it says uh, regarded as being of the highest quality. I wouldn't say it was the, sorry, <laughs> going all a bit uh, fuzzy there. I wouldn't say it was the highest quality like Faber-Castell Polychromos. Um, I mean, you can get a smaller pack. A 24 pack is uh, £21.57. 36 pack is £30. 48 pack is £41. I think if, if you're not wanting to go all out for the entire set, um, I think a good starter set would be the 24 pack. Um, but then if you decide you wanted the whole pack, 
you'd, you'd be spending like 72 pounds all in all so you'd be spending an extra 20 pounds just for just to get the whole set if you get what i mean that's why i always go for the whole set and then if i don't like that i can easily sell them uh, and get another set of pencils that i don't like but no i'll be keeping these it comes in handy for um coloring different things like little images in like say joanna bashford uh, books i can do different little those little different pictures i can do one set uh one picture in one set of pencils another picture in another set if you get what i mean so it come they come in handy for such a stuff like that so they will get used um as i say another fancy little set to own um not the best of highest quality um but it's just it's just a nice little set to own and you get you get quite a, a range an array of different colored pencils i really like these i'm always leaning to these um a lot <laughs> this one in particular i love this color it's like a mixture of bluey green so yeah um <clears throat> i would rate these out of 10. i would rate these at about a six 10 being like amazing like faber castles <laughs> um and then you, you know, you get your your poor quality, which I call Crayola as poor quality, is is like a one. But um, yeah, it's not a bad little set. And for the price that you pay, it's not it's not extortion. Um, but I would I would say uh, still say that the Arteza would would be better than these. But that's my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's my opinion of the Polycolor 72 set. If you enjoyed this, thumbs it up. Click that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload any new content. If there's anything you want me to review or flip through, just drop me a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.